Hey, what's up? Today, the hash built-in function in Python 3. So let's start with a look at the docs. Hash takes one argument, which is an object, and it'll return the hash value of that object. I'll show you what that looks like in a minute, but just know it's basically a big integer. It also says that the hash is used to quickly compare dictionary keys during a dictionary lookup. One other thing I'd mention is that the hash is only for immutable objects. So if we look at a list, it's only for bool, int, float, tuples, strings, and frozen sets. So you cannot pass a dictionary or a set or a list to the hash function. It's going to fail. So let's open our terminal and let's uh, apply this. So hash can take integers, it can take floats, it can take strings, it can take sets, or sorry, uh, tuples rather. Um, what else? It can take frozen sets, but it cannot take a standard set because a set is not immutable. And the error you're going to get is type error, unhashable type. So if we did the same thing with, say, a list, we're going to get that same kind of error, type error, unhashable type. Another thing just wanted to confirm for you guys is that uh, the type being returned is an int, regardless of what you pass to it. So even if we pass a string or whatever, the value being returned is an int. The next thing I want to show you is a little bit of comparison. So I think we know we can uh, compare even, say, ints to floating point, and we get true. But you might not know that you can wrap hash around this and get the same kind of thing. So we could do hash around either of these arguments, and we're going to get true. And of course, we can wrap it around both and see we're, we're always getting true here. So comparing with hash is uh, basically the same thing as comparing without hash in a lot of cases. Here's an example I found online. It took some searching, but I found an example where the comparison, uh, the standard comparison and the hash comparison do not match up. So we can run that and take a look, and we see the standard comparison is true, and the hash comparison is false when comparing two instances of the same class. And I'll link up the blog post related to this in the, in the video notes. One other use case I thought of for the hash function is kind of to use it as a Boolean to check if things are hashable, because if they're not, uh, we're going to get that type error, right? So I built a little function, and when we pass, say, uh, things we know to be hashable to it, we're going to get true. And if we pass something that's not hashable, like, say, a list, uh, we pass that to it, we're going to get false. So just one idea for something you could use the hash function for. 